In this vid, I'm going to be reviewing a Tangrowth Celebi deck, a combination that has always intrigued me, <laughs> but I've never actually seen in action. And um, I guess I'll let him stay in the vid. This is Poseidon, who has decided to interrupt. Um, anyways, the deck is really interesting. I haven't seen in action, but I would love to. It's something that I wouldn't see being played right now because of all the fire out there, but he does throw in a 1-1 line of Metapod to cover his weaknesses, so it's pretty interesting. He also runs a Vileplume to get a Trainer Lock to make himself a little more difficult to beat, and I, I think it's just a really interesting deck, and I'd like to take a closer look at it. You have a perfect starting line of 1 Cleffa and 1 Tyrogue, you might want to swap your one Cleffa out for one Manamphy to prevent the Donk. However, that means you get to draw one less card during your setup, but you also don't have to worry about falling asleep. The big attacker in this deck is Tangrowth. The amount of damage it can do depends on the number of energy cards attached to it. You run Celebi Prime, which allows you to attach one extra grass energy per turn as long as your Celebi is in the active position. The bad thing about this deck is it's going to take quite a while to set up. You're going to be using Clefo or Manamphy for at least a couple of turns to get some good cards in your hand. Then you're going to have your Celebi active for a few more turns to really start pulling on the energy to your Tangrowth. The good thing is, is that to make sure you have enough time to get this set up properly is that you run a 2-2-2 line of Vileplume. Getting up a Trainer Lock is really going to slow down your opponent unless you're facing another Trainer Lock deck. You also run a 2-2 line of Sunflora that allows you to search for any grass Pokemon that you want, and that's also going to really help speed this deck up. You've also covered your major weakness, which is obviously to fire, since everything in here is grass. You run a 1-1 Metapod, whose body says that none of your grass Pokemon are affected by weakness. I would recommend increasing that line to 2-2, just in case any of them are prized. You also might want to consider increasing your line of Tangrowth to 3-3 just because it is your main attacker. Although if you decide to run Rescue Energy, you may not need the extra Tangrowth line. I might also recommend one or two Shaman in the deck so that you can move your energy around however you like in order for Tangrowth to hit even harder. You have a pretty good energy line, running a solid 14 energy, meaning that you won't have any problems drawing into anything. You run 3 DCE, but I would recommend increasing that number to 4 because Tangrowth doesn't say energy cards, it just says energy. So a DCE is actually going to count for 2 energy, and if you can get 2 DCE attached to 2 Tangrowth, that is going to hit really hard and consistently hit hard. I would increase your line of Psychic to 2 just in case you run up against a deck that doesn't have any strong basic Pokemon so that you can use Celebi Prime's attack. It does 30, but as long as your opponent's Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, it doesn't take damage from attacks. Again, I would consider possibly running a Rescue Energy, just in case you need an extra Tangrowth. But other than that, I would say run everything Grass. Since you run a good number of Celebi Prime, you might even be safe in increasing your number of Grass to 15, possibly 16. You do run Interviewer's Questions, so you'll be able to search out for those energy pretty easily. I think the one interviewer's question is an excellent number, any more than that, and it's probably going to be a dead card. I definitely think your trainer and supporter line needs a little bit of work. It seems to be lacking a sufficient number of speed because it's running quite a few trainers, even though you're running Vileplume. To search out basics, you run a combination of one collector and two dual ball. I would recommend increasing your number of collector to three, possibly four, and dropping the dual ball completely. I would increase your number of rare candy to two, possibly three, just so that you can get that vile plume out as fast as possible. I do like having three communications so that you can swap those in to get your Sunflora set up really fast, and that'll let you get your vile plume out even faster. The trainers I don't think you'll need are the Switch, the Reversal, and possibly the Junk Arm. The Junk Arm you may be able to let in there, maybe one two at the max, but the reversal and the switch are typically used later in the game, and by that time you should have a vile plume up so you wouldn't be able to use them anyways. You run two seeker, which I don't think you need unless you decide to run the shaman to reuse that poke power. 
None of the Pokemon in this deck have extremely high HP, so even though you're throwing out a trainer lock, you're probably going to be knocked out fairly easily, so the chances of you retreating back to the bench, seekering up, and getting set back up really easily is pretty slim. You run one twins to get you back in the game if you're falling a little bit behind. I think that's perfect. I would also include one flower shop, especially since you run such a low line of Tangrowth. As soon as they knock out two Tangrowth, you have no attackers, so you're really going to need that flower shop to get them back. And even if you decide to increase that 3-3 line of Tangrowth, I just think one flower shop in every deck is, is essential. You run two Sage, which I would increase to three. Early in the game, that can really help you get those trainers out as fast as possible to get that Vile Plume set up. And later in the game, you can always discard those trainers since you won't have any need for them with Vile Plume out. You run two Professor Oak's New Theory. I'd be a little more comfortable with three, possibly four pot in this deck to make your hand refresher a little more consistent. I would also recommend throwing in one Juniper just in case you really have a horrible hand. I would throw out the two Judge because I typically find in Vile Plume decks they're going to be drawing into a lot of trainers that they don't need. If you judge them, they might be able to draw into something that they do need rather than stocking all those trainers in their hands as dead cards. And the last card you have in here are three Elm to search out for stage one or stage two Pokemon. I think you can easily reduce that to two if you need the space for other cards because your Sunflora is going to allow you to search out for any grass Pokemon that you want. I hope these suggestions help, especially in just getting set up as fast as possible. If anyone else would like their deck reviewed, just PM me the list and whether you'd like to be considered for a video review, which can take up to three, possibly more weeks, or if you would like to just have a blog review, which I can do in a matter of two, possibly three days. Thanks for watching!